Hero of Ukraine Volodymyr Zemchukov is visiting the city of Kharkiv not for the first time. He lived and worked in Luhansk, some 300 kilometers south of Kharkiv. Before the war, he traveled around Europe, but had to return in 2014 when he realized that Russian hybrid forces had occupied his home. Having no military experience, Zemchukov didn't join the armed forces, but became the leader of the underground resistance in Luhansk and began helping the Ukrainian army. We collected mines, shells, made landmines out of them, and laid them on the roads in front of columns of Russian military vehicles, blew up communications, blew up the railway a number of times. Volodymyr and his unit conducted 30 successful operations, but in the autumn of 2015 he was severely injured in a landmine explosion. He was then captured by the Russian-led militants. Both of Volodymyr's hands were amputated and he partially lost his eyesight. At the hospital, Volodymyr was interrogated by Russian intelligence intelligence. After his release in September 2016, Zemchukov underwent rehabilitation. He insists on being called partisan, although the term does not fit into the modern military classification. You see, on my chest is a medal, Hero of Ukraine. It was given to me only because I did not surrender. These bars underneath are distinctions given for conducting guerrilla war. But unfortunately, our legislation has not even resolved the issue with army volunteers yet, let alone with partisan resistance. It's an illegal formation. In 2018, together with his wife Olena, Volodymyr launched their nationwide project Prisoners of the Kremlin. The couple have already traveled to more than 40 schools and universities with their documentary about political prisoners of the Kremlin in Crimea and in the Donbass. We were asked a question. Our relatives live in the occupied territory and we visit them. Please tell me what should we tell those people so that they understand that they are Ukrainians and that they should integrate into Ukraine and not into Russia. In Kharkiv, Volodymyr Zemchukov plans to meet with the cadets of the Kozhedub Air Force University, as well as with students of the Pedagogical University and the Karazin University. After that, he will visit universities in Kiev and Dnipro. Reported by Tetyana Belokudria from Kharkiv for UATV.